Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and macOS Mojave Beta 3 has been out for developers for a few days and I've been looking over what's new, if anything, and wanted to share that with you. So in this particular update, or this is also going to be public beta 2, this update has a few resolved issues and a couple little changes. Over 20 resolved issues are in this beta and over 15 known issues. So many resolved issues such as eGPU support and a lot of refinements. Now, dark and light mode here, let's go in here, the general dark and light mode is much smoother between its transitions. So now if I click on dark, you'll see it's much smoother when we switch between them. Also, when we go to our wallpaper here, some people are saying that dynamic desktop is not working. It seems to be okay for me, but it's hard to say throughout the day. Right now it looks like it's incorrect, but it doesn't mean it's not going to change. So there's still some tweaks to be done to that. Let's move over to the Mac App Store. We'll open that. And here's the Mac App Store. So for some people, this can go a little bit narrower and maybe it's to get ready for the iPad. I'm not sure, but right now, that's as narrow as it gets. We can stretch it out here, but narrow it down like it looks like it's going to fit on an iPad at some point. Maybe they'll consolidate this with iOS. I'm not sure at this point. Also, instead of updates, and you may have been aware of this before, but if we close this out, updates are now in the Apple and about this Mac. So you'll see it's opened here. We're on beta 18A 326G, and here's the software update button. So now we check here and it's just a much better place than putting it in the App Store. As far as stacks are concerned, you'll see it's doing a good job splitting it into different types. So images and screenshots, music, those sorts of things, those are now available and working just like they should. One thing to note, however, is Final Cut Pro and graphic style apps such as Pixelmator Pro are running incredibly slow. Final Cut is workable. We'll let it load here. However, it slows down and when it's time to actually export this it's almost unusable so this is a beta I did from the other day and uh, an iOS beta video and it's just incredibly slow when you export it it's not that long of a video but when it's time to export the video instead of taking three to five minutes it's still taking 45 minutes or so so something is going on when it comes to that the same is true when you're using Pixelmator or graphic heavy apps they're just slow so maybe it's not optimized for the CPU or GPU at this time. Now, if, if you've been having severe battery drain, it seems to be fixed in this beta. It's much, much better than it was before. I don't have any lockups or anything at this point. And I was at 20% higher earlier today, but it's been hours and we've only gone down 20%. So it seems to be working okay. Aside from that, if you use Netflix, you may not want to use it on this beta as it seems to crash for most people. And that's due to Safari and Chrome OS. Both of those do not seem to be working properly. So that's it in this particular beta. Not a whole lot has changed that I can find. I looked all over the place. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Would you like to see more of these videos as we find out more information about these new versions? Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is news. News does not have the dark mode yet, it doesn't appear, but Notes does. You'll see here's dark mode, and it works fine in Notes, but not every app is fully optimized for it yet. But again, let me know what you find in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.